So up to this point, we've covered building custom URLs using value track parameters. And now we're getting to just using tracking templates in general. So, so far, I mean, this is considered a tracking template, but this tracking template we've been using at the ad level. So you can have tracking templates at the ad level, at the ad group level, and then also at the campaign level. And what this means is that, let's say we have a whole bunch of ads and um, we don't really want to change, we, what we, we don't want to modify the ad in any way where it triggers a review of the ad, then all of our stats get reset or something like that. We, we don't want that to happen. So the, the tracking templates, the whole purpose of tracking templates is to decouple this tracking data from the ad itself. So that if you need to tweak some things, you can tweak, you know, the tracking template at the ad group level or the campaign level, and it won't trigger an ad review. So here's one um, method, what you could do. So here at the ad, I'm, I'm going to remove the tracking template entirely. So there is no tracking template. There's no custom parameters or anything like that. It's just the landing page URL, then the, the text. So, you know, that's that. That's it. And what you can do is <clears throat> you can add these columns. So at the ad level view, I've added a tracking template column and also a custom parameter column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all campaigns. That way I can see all of my ads at once. And currently none of my ads have a tracking template or a custom parameter. And you can, you can add these two columns. If you go to columns and then modify columns, go to the attributes and then on the bottom there is tracking templates and custom parameters you can add those over here and th those will show up now so that way you can see which ads are actually utilizing a tracking template and which ads are not utilizing you know a tracking template or custom parameters so what I want is I don't want any of my ads using a template at the ad level so let's go up to the ad group so I'm gonna click ad groups here and I have these four different campaigns. And the Black Friday campaign I created earlier, right? So I don't have tracking templates at the campaign level either. Um, so what I'm going to do is at the ad group level, I'm going to create a custom parameter called underscore ad group. So check this out. I'm going to put ad group here, and I'm going to do Black Friday. Now, you cannot have spaces or special characters. If I have a space and try to save it, it's going to give me an error. So it's pretty picky. Just it's, you know, numbers and letters pretty much only, and then all, you know, no spaces. So here's the underscore here. I put an ad group. And so at my ad group level, I'm utilizing these custom parameters. So dynamically, now what I can do is I have this custom parameter. So what I could do at the custom parameter level, so for the UTM campaign, or the UTM content. So let's say let's say UTM content is going to be my ad group. I could use this now, this underscore ad group custom parameter, which kind of functions like one of these value track parameters, but since it's prefixed with an underscore, this is a custom parameter that I'm using. Um, so also what I want to do is at the campaign level where I have like fall, summer, and winter, I need to do kind of the same thing, right? I need to add these custom parameters. And to get these custom columns here, you have to do the same thing at the ad group. Just go to columns, modify columns, go to the attributes, and here is the tracking template and custom parameters you would add. Um, so on the campaigns, let's go to campaigns, and here we are. So here are all my campaigns. So I have the fall, summer, winter, and then you know these different ad groups. To get to the tracking template, slash custom parameter settings for the campaign, what you have to do is go to the, so click on this guy up here, all campaigns, and then click settings. And then on the settings, you can click this columns drop down and hit modify, and then you can remove, you know, whatever columns. And then on the campaign settings, you have tracking template and custom parameter. You can add those and then hit apply. So here's my custom parameters and my tracking template. So what I've done at the campaign level is I created a custom parameter called underscore campaign, and I'm going to set this to just fall. So here's my custom parameters for all three of these campaigns, and I can have <coughs> I can have tracking templates at each of these levels if I wanted to, but 
you can out you can also go one step back at like a global level so check this out go to go to bulk operations um, I'm sorry no shared library go to shared library and then URL options and then notice this here's a tracking template for your entire AdWords account so you can take this here's a tracking table here I'm just gonna copy that and we're gonna put it in notepad and kind of inspect it right so here's my landing page URL and what I'm doing is I'm saying the UTM source to AdWords underscore device the medium to be network and then underscore placement I guess you could do that if you wanted to um, or just network in general or you could put instead of saying you know network you do search or content like that it's it's really up to you the campaign I put underscore campaign <clears throat> um, let's just leave campaign as campaign so that's gonna be fall or winter or whatever and then the UTM content what I could do here is either put the creative which is the ID of the ad or I could you know put whatever the ad group is if I, if I wanted to um, but when you do it at such a high level since the the ad doesn't really have anything associated with it what we could do is you know on the on the ad we could create an underscore content you know template or a custom parameter and then say the content's going to be you know content like that campaign is underscore campaign um, the source maybe it's going to be the ad group like that and then if you want to know the device you could do like underscore device if you wanted to it's it's kind of really up to you it's however you want to see that data come in it's it's up to you um, so anyhow this is going to be the global tracking template so when you do that you just got to hit test and then it's going to go through and validate all the different URLs and make sure all the landing pages are found and then you can click on this guy again here and see oh here's the final click URL for each of these ads so the campaign is winter underscore Christmas you know in this case because of this is the tracking template it's using so you can basically define a global tracking template by going to shared library URL options for your account now if you have a tracking template at a lower level let's say I had a tracking template where maybe I was using this template at this campaign level then <clears throat> then what would happen is it wouldn't use the global one it would use the one that's more specific at the lower level which would be this one and if I go into the fall campaign then I can look at the ad groups there's not a tracking template here but I could specify a template it's it's really up to you but basically the lowest level template is what's going to get used and at each level you can create custom parameters which are really handy and even at the at the ad level if I wanted to create a custom parameter where it said you know uh, what what is the content so we could do that we could do underscore content and maybe this is um, you know my my free trial um, I don't know if you can put spaces there probably not yeah you can't so this is gonna be my free trial content if this ad talked about giving a free trial and then if I had another ad that was advertising like 50% off maybe I have an underscore content equals 50 off um, and so then what I can do is use this underscore content parameter in you know my tracking template at the campaign level or you know whatever I want to do so anyways that's a little information about tracking templates um, hopefully it's not too confusing but it's really handy if you get the hang of it uh, you can I, what I would do is specify a tracking template at the global level in case you're not using you know custom tracking templates anywhere else that way at least you're gonna get tracking data for everything and you could use that creative ID at the global level and then get more specific down you know down down the chain as you get to ad group and you know ad level or whatever so what some marketers do instead of using those tracking templates at all those different levels they some people what they do is they just go to the, all their ads and then they just bulk update the uh, the tracking template for all for all of these ads and so they just kind of do it all at once and so that means each ad has its own tracking template which is perfectly fine as well It's really however you want to set up and manage your AdWords account is up to you